Hi everybody, this is Jazz again, uh, aka Trend Trader for you. As promised, here I am um, trying to make a uh, video about uh, setting up charts uh, for the beginner level. So this, uh, the focus of this video will be uh, mainly for um, mainly on um, the beginners or the novices that are uh, that are out there that are new and that want to get into the the, the chart analysis part of the trading or investing and hopefully this will serve a good purpose uh, as far as getting them started and having them make a watch list and having them uh, put some alerts and kind of track uh, and give a 3D like picture uh, to their uh, fundamental stocks that they're following and uh, hopefully this will help so what we'll do is we'll get started here and uh, what, what I'll be doing basically is uh, going through this whole uh, checklist that's, uh, that's here right now okay but before I do that, I just wanted to, uh, once in a while I do this, you know, read up on my disclaimer, uh, you know, not to bore you guys, but uh, here it is, uh, a disclaimer from a trend trader for you, uh, uh, INC, is uh, all of my teaching lessons contain solely my opinions, observations, which may contain errors or omissions of chart analysis and provided for your information only. It should not be construed as a financial or trading advice. I trade my personal account only. I do not manage a fund for other people. Please do your own due diligence before engaging in any trading activity. No part of my teaching presentation may be reproduced or copied and pre presented as your own material. It is a sole property of, uh, of myself and sharing of the material is not permitted. Please comply with rules and will always have a trustworthy relationship. And this, this goes for all my trade calls that I post on Stock Twist, Twitter. You know, they're just trade ideas and it doesn't necessarily mean I take all of them and doesn't necessarily mean that you need to take for your real account. They are for educational purposes. Uh, it's your account. Uh, your profit your loss and um hopefully everybody understands that okay so let's get on to the next slide uh so here here it is a setting up charts 101 for a beginner level okay okay so next slide here we have is a uh, setting up charts for beginner level so again this presentation is meant for new beginners uh or not not novice traders who wants to learn analyzing charts technically. At the end of this presentation, you'll have basic knowledge of viewing stocks in different time frames, be able to create your own watch list, and able to create your own alerts, and have the basic knowledge of uh, uh, chart analysis, okay? So we're gonna start off from, uh, I'm offering, uh, well, I'm uh, providing a link for uh, this free website where uh, it, mostly it's all live data. There's a little bit of delay but it works uh, pretty close to as having a, um, a paid platform uh, but it's good for people who are swing trading or who are position trading i wouldn't recommend this for day trading but uh, it's perfect for uh, people who just wants to you know look at the charts once a while okay so we'll go to the uh, freestockcharts.com we'll make an account and we'll create a new layout and save it okay so we'll just do these steps here Okay, so this is where you're gonna sign in. Okay, I've already uh, have an account, so I'll just sign in. Um, okay, so it pops up my uh, watch list, and it pops up uh, other stuff that I'm looking at. This is exactly how it will look when you uh, log in as a new user, and you'll. This is the default that you'll be getting. Okay, when you um, when you first able to log on to the, this uh, website. So what you'll do here is you'll go to file and you'll create a new layout, okay? And I'll just do that and file, create new layout, save changes, we'll say yes, and you can do, I'll just do test and okay. So basically every time, uh, well this layout is named as test. So sorry about the noises, uh, free videos and you get uh, free noises, right? The baby sounds, the toy sounds and all the freebies right so anyways uh, so what we'll do we created a layout we saved it as a test and you can save it uh, the way you want and uh, then what we'll do is and we're gonna follow this step we're gonna save it and we're gonna change the plot styles to chart uh, to candlesticks from settings okay you can get uh, get to learn to use this but I'm just gonna go over some of the basic stuff that you can uh, that can help you get started so you're gonna go into settings Comparison, actually my bad. You're gonna go into settings, plot style. You're gonna change this to candlesticks. Okay, then you're gonna press okay. 
and you can kind of drag this down there the volume that way you see most of the chart okay so next step is what we're gonna do is create two more workspace tabs and then we're gonna do the same thing as a uh, uh, change the plot style to candlesticks okay so we're gonna add two more workspaces you could say so one here and we're gonna click on another one you can keep on adding as much as you want so I just wanted to show you two so now you have this one uh, same thing we're gonna do settings plot style change it to candlestick and reason why I'm changing to candlesticks is because uh, they are used by novices intermediate and professional level of traders in my opinion and they tell you the it, it gives you more like a 3d picture so if you look at this one you know it's just not enough information on there you, you can still tell we're open and close but here you can actually with the red and the green it makes it uh, look more simpler makes it more uh, look more a 3d type so that's why I like these so we'll change this to settings again actually sorry settings plot style could change it to candlesticks press ok so now you have three tabs and I know they're all the same uh, we're looking at 10 minutes but we're gonna change that out okay and if you click on these buttons right here they will give you all the charts on the same screen so if you do that or if you do this I, I kinda like this one so I'll do so now you're looking at all the charts on the same screen and now we're gonna change the time frames so the time frame we're gonna change we're gonna designate each chart for weekly daily and 60 minute time frame okay and there's a reasoning why, why I wanna do that so we'll change this to weekly chart okay so let's just put another stock let's put Apple right Apple is interesting uh, so we got Apple weekly chart then we're gonna change this to daily chart daily from all the time frames are changed from here this one we're gonna change it to 60 hourly or 60 so now if you look at it you can see let me just kinda of do this so we get more of the chart less of the other stuff and so in order to analyze charts you always want to start looking at a big picture the big picture comes from the weekly time frame the weekly time frame is telling you we have a nice uptrend going on and the daily uh, time frame is telling you we also have a nice uptrend as well as the 60 uh, 60 minute and I'm, I'm not gonna go in exactly how you take trades and where do you look for support and resistance but all I want you to do is set up the charts weekly daily and hourly so let's say if you pull up um, uh, let's just say GILD right um, now you are looking at weekly daily and hourly how simple is that just well, type of one actually what you do is just, you just tap onto the chart so SPY you just tap onto the chart and it's gonna give you all these uh, you know weekly daily uh, and the um, uh, and the hourly okay you just type in so all you have gold is gold is a uh, uh, basically a somewhat of a downtrend in weekly and then you have a daily bunch of caps here then you have hourly cap okay I mean our hourly chart okay okay so what in the next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new watch list and we're gonna add nine sector ETFs and provide it in the sector analysis uh, the video and what I, I made a video um, which is uh, if you're a subscriber onto my YouTube uh, you can actually search if you're not just go on there trend trader for you actually put it I'll, I'll put it I'll show you the the website uh, in few minutes and and it'll take you to all my videos over there one of the videos is uh, the sector analysis video which gives you which basically I go over what exactly is SNPY made of you know there are nine sectors that kind of control the SNPY or that's what SPY is made up of and you can you can add those sectors in there and we'll add a couple of them but I just wanted to give you a whole idea about how to set up the whole charts so I don't want to go into the exactly working off uh, uh, which will be in the hopefully in the next video or the video after okay so what we'll do we'll go into the create a watch list here uh, so if you do this I'm gonna scroll down and I have a bunch of watch list so we're gonna say new then just we, all we're gonna say is sectors sectors okay and now you have sector you can start adding uh, 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 the your list on this let's just say what well, there are nine sectors right so we'll do XLF okay you, you, you can put in your price you can shares whatever you want and you can just keep on adding or you can add the symbol here you know XLU uh, XLU 
add, then you can do XLE, you get the idea, right? So these are nine, uh, three of the nine sectors. So now you have uh, three sectors, add uh, the rest of the six ones, and then you'll be able to uh, click on it, and you'll see the trend of this. Uh, XLF is up, and you'll see the daily is up. Actually, it's really nice uptrend, right? Then you have XLU, the trend is up. Actually, made a couple calls on here uh, last week about it, but sent out the three to four, five charts uh, of utility stocks, and man, uh, right after that, uh, that day, everything just all the utility stocks just uh, and just went up, and it was four or five stocks. Every single one of them worked. So XLE is another weekly uptrend, and then you go into daily, then you look into the hourly, okay? So also what we're going to do is we're going to add SDY, QQQ, IWM, Dow, and Gold onto the watch. So after you're done adding all that, then you can Dow, you can add a entry or SPY is, you know, you know what SPY is, I'm sure. IWM is your Russell. Uh, okay, and then you have uh, Dow, the Diamonds. So basically all the major indices okay and I like to watch gold because you know sometimes it uh, works as, as inverse to the uh, equities uh, you know mo movie um, money coming uh, out of the equities and goes to gold vice versa not always uh, uh, the, uh, the criteria uh, but you know sometimes it does happen and uh, it helps to you know stay out of stocks and get into gold stocks or get into gold actually okay so next step is uh, to provide, uh, so what we're gonna do, we, I'll do, what I'll do is I'll add a price alert for um, for 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 an ETF, and this is a free platform, so it only lets you uh, add only five alerts. And again, uh, you know, it, it's a uh, it's a free platform, so if you have something like you know better platforms, you can use there. They, you know, I with my thinkorswim, I can add you know thousands of alerts, and it, it's awesome because they're. They're, they're there they're they're they're, they're never getting uh, deleted so if I am uh, away for a few months and come back all my alerts are still there and if I'm getting alerts all the all the time and they're actually helping me to either if I want to get in a trade or not so anyway so what we'll do we'll just let's just say daily right I want to add an alert on here so I'll do click on this and I'll do create price alert and let's say I want the alert right around uh, this area okay uh, 9370 actually let's do uh right here 8907 okay so i'll just type in here 8907 and you can add a note on there uh, uh go long or um uh, go long price at the support right so alert me once or you can say every time it crosses what if it expires you don't want it to expire so just just do once only and do okay and then yeah now you have an alert working for you and if you look on this end we click on alerts this is that's what you did right now running right uh, alert when price crosses uh, 8907 it'll, it'll be alerted so this one expired so I can delete those so these are the um, alerts that were there and they got they got expired and the couple of them working you know and sometimes you know uh, you know you get them uh, instantly or you get them after a few months but at least they're working for you okay so next step is I guess that's it and uh, what I'll do is uh, in the next uh, video I'll be talking about adding some of the the, the common indicators like SMAs or maybe Bollinger Band or you know a couple other stuff that can help you as far as uh, you know uh, getting more confirmation to your trade Okay, before before I end this, I wanted to go over some of the rules. Okay, the rules to follow for for anybody, either you're a novice or you're uh, you're a day trader or you're advanced or whatever type of trader you are. You have to know three aspects of the trade: entry, exit, and excuse me, entry, exit, and target. You have to define your entry. You have to have your stop, and you have to have your um, uh, target where you want to go to. Uh, target is not easy, but if you have your stop and if you have your entry, all you gotta do if your trade goes your way, you keep moving your stop toward the target, toward till the price reaches its target. And you know, a lot of lot of times it works. And if you get stopped out, at least you know you 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 follow the plan. 
you knew away your three aspects of the trade were, you always want to be prepared before taking a trade. Not just take a trade because somebody tells you, okay, I'm buying this here and I'm selling this here. No, you gotta do your homework. You know, trading is it's only simple if you follow the plan. Otherwise, it's, it's disastrous because you have no plan, you have no exit, you have no exit strategy. So paper trade, a second tip is paper trade till you see solid results. Paper trade or this is great, you know, uh, free stocks, you know, you can type in right here, uh, shares long and you can do the entry price and then it'll tell you entry date and then you, it'll show you your profit and loss and there are a bunch of other columns that you can add on here to better your trading and this is this is great way to you know get started in paper trading and then see some you know uh, eight to ten consecutive results that you know you follow the plan and hey then you might be more ready to move on to you know couple trades here and there okay in, in live environment uh, number three always respect the stop it is totally okay to take partial profits just like I discussed in one uh, four do not uh, day trade right away or at least do not do not take trades overnight okay do not i need to enter that now oh, there you go so don't take trades overnight because they're if you're a day trader they're meant to be uh, uh either stopped out or they're meant to gather you know uh, closed with profit at uh, for the in, during the same day and also know the trading time when volatility is high this is a little uh, advanced there are a few times that uh that you need to just uh, kind of pause the trading and you probably see me during the lunch time uh i am either posting education material or I'm just you know talking away or chatting away or most of the time you know changing diapers but you know at least uh, I know that I'm not about to trade in those hours because regardless how your setup looks it could be the best setup you have but you gotta know if there is a volatility uh, it's gonna be hard to trade but if there is a lot of volatility you see a uh, lot of orders coming in you see a lot of volume coming in that's okay to trade but you gotta you, you gotta have a mindset that during this time I need to be slow as much as I can or I need to uh, walk away from the computer and come back in maybe you know last hour of the last two hours of the uh, of the trading and also make a journal this is a very very important tip you gotta make a uh, you gotta make a journal make a journal log all of your winning and losing trades and get a get free template from me if you uh, are having struggle uh, having hard time I'll send you a free template yes no charge and it's just simple you know you type in your logs and uh, I'll, I'll give you um, the entry exit and you know how you're feeling blah 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 so but it, 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 it email me and I'll, I'll show you uh, my email address too actually it's right if you go on here you'll see it but uh, go on there sign up and then I'll send you an, a free trade uh, template uh, where you can log on all your trades and also have a trade plan start working on it and as uh, you get better this is a very very important part of the of the trading uh, which you should begin uh, when if you're a novice or an intermediate trader you gotta have a trade plan what you do in the morning you get up in the morning you make your coffee you turn on your computer you check your check the Asian markets you check your earnings plays you draw your support and resistance uh, uh, levels and bunch of other stuff right you gotta have a trade plan you gotta follow it every single time uh, when you're sitting on a computer or when you're starting a day and also check important news that causes volatility in the market right the Philly index came out today right and then unemployment is a biggie uh, the um, the rate cut that's the biggie so there are a forex factory offers uh, all those uh, um, uh, I will type it in here w dot forex factory.com this offers uh, all the uh, the major news that are coming out and they'll uh, flag it in a red color okay and all, also um, I stress on this a lot my main focus is to use a price action what you see on here this is what I use when I start adding stuff like adding an indicator right uh, uh, let's do Bollinger Bands right uh, price history so if I started adding, adding Bollinger Band if I want to trade right off of this want to go short off of this and it's it's not the right way to do it you gotta have to have a lot of other stuff lined up before you just go take it tra trade off of some indicator so you want to make sure that you only use them as a confirmation not as a entry or a exit okay and, and also uh, understand what is broad market and how it can affect your trading there are many more rules but as a beginner start to follow these and then 
uh, more as you become higher level trader. And again, these rules are not just uh, for beginner, they're for intermediate, advanced, but at least as a beginner, you just need to start following these. And then from there on, you, you add more rules, you add more um, uh, addition into your trade plan. And this is how you become a full-time successful trader. Uh, they're they're not wrong when they say only five or ten percent actually you know maybe three percent out of hundred percent actually make a successful trader so it, you can't just overnight say okay I'm gonna start trading tomorrow and start taking positions it doesn't happen like that you have to have a plan you have to have set of rules you follow and once you become advanced enough you know I never look at my stuff now you know I just uh, go in there start posting trades because you know all that is engraved into my my mind because I have done it so many times I took so many losses I've let so many winners run and I come to a point that I'm just following the same trade plan you want to get to a point where trading becomes so much uh, so 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 boring for you because you're following the same plan that you need to do something else. Now, believe me, you know it, it's uh, you want to get to the point where trading becomes boring for you. Okay, uh, so learn the right technical analysis from someone who knows what they're doing. You got you gotta learn. Um, excuse me, I can see that. So you gotta um, you, you need to know all the aspects of the technical analysis. Okay, and you find the right right person or, or right uh, whatever course whatever it is that you wanna you wanna learn from okay uh, anyway so uh, what what next I wanna show you is uh, you go to my trendtrader40.com uh, sign up for free check out the education material recent call YouTube videos and much more so I'll just show that quickly on here trend trader and um, I got a lot of members who signed up for uh, for these free alerts and actually there's a trade that went out let me actually um, uh, 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 what you do is uh, you're gonna enter your email address subscribe I'm gonna get an email I need to update this I uh, updated uh, I actually was looking at this uh, NLNK um, it went a little bit lower and actually uh, didn't take the trade because it didn't meet my criteria but uh, I do enter my recent calls here and all my stock tweets are being um, uh, automatically logged into here so you just have to log into my website and from Twitter, from Stock to Facebook, everything's being uh, automatically downloaded in here. And also, I, I do help a lot of people out there, so you know, feel free, man. I mean, I'm here to uh, b b busting my butt uh, for everybody. So if you feel like you know why you made it, made, made some money, and uh, uh, you know, throw me a tip here and there, and you know, it'll take you to the PayPal page and throw me whatever you want to do, okay? And this is the analysis that I did, weekly analysis. Watch it and you'll be amazed how, how this, uh, beautiful this analysis is working and never ever, uh, uh, you know, gave you a second thought of uh, looking at something else. If you had, if you were referring to this analysis all this time, it, you, you, you weren't, uh, you weren't in the dark. You always had some kind of reference point to look at and this is exactly what it did. So anyways, um, you type in your email address here and click, uh, click subscribe and then I'll send you the vehicle, uh, the analysis and also what I was going to say I will also send you the uh, the, the couple of trade ideas that I um, that I emailed out and one of them was uh, uh, oh oops sorry guys I can't tell you because they, they, that was for members right because you know they, they are loyal and they worked hard to to stay with me but I you know that trade idea is working as of today and which was mailed out uh, I believe uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, and uh, I actually took some profits today. I took uh, I took a little bit of profit, went up, and I had an automatic sell at a at a certain limit, and uh, it worked out fine. But you know, uh, I'm gonna throw those out all the time. So learn learn the right way, and uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer as much as possible. You know, uh, you know, keeping in mind that whatever I do, everything is free, and there. Obviously, there you know stuff that I uh, that I charge for extra you know services, but you know let, let's just you know focus on on the, all the educational material that I provide right now. So you guys take care, and hopefully you'll review this uh, whole presentation. Uh, it's very very small, but great for beginners or uh, even a, even intermediate. So uh, make a watch list, uh, do everything that that I showed you, and the next video I'll I'll go in a little bit more detail. Okay, thank you guys. Have a good night, and um, we'll talk to you later. Bye.